welcome back. Today we take a look at the active and the passive voices, looking at some of the more common symptoms. Now you may remember from having studied this before, we tend to use the passive voice when we are not sure of the subject or the subject of the action isn't as important as whether the action was done. For example, we will see a lot of uses of the passive voice in newspaper reports. Let's compare these two sentences. Sentence 1. The tourists greatly enjoyed the show. This is written in the active voice, with the subject being the tourists, the verb being enjoyed in the past simple tense, and the object of the verb, the show. If we were to change this sentence into the passive form, the sentence would read as follows. The show was greatly enjoyed by the tourists. If you remember, when we use the passive voice, the subject and the object switch places. The verb remains the same, the tense remains the same, however, we need a different form of the main verb. And in using the passive voice, we have to use the verb to be. Take a look at the second sentence again. The show was enjoyed. Because it's the past simple tense, we need the past form of the verb to be. Let's begin by looking at the present simple and the present continuous tenses and see how we change these into the passive voice. If we were to write a sentence using the present simple and the passive voice, the formula would read as follows. Am or is or are plus the past participle of the main verb that we are using. Let's take a look at some example sentences. He sends me to the office. Now we have he as the subject, sends as our main verb in the present simple tense, and me as the object of the verb. So we switch places for the subject and the object. Me becomes I. And because this is the present simple, I am sent to the office by him. If you recall very often, we don't use the subject in the passive voice instead because either the subject may not be important or we may not know who the subject is. So I am sent to the office. Second example, she runs the company. Subject she, object the company, runs being the present simple verb. Again we switch the object and the subject, so the sentence reads the company is run by her. Because the company is a singular noun, we use is. Run still remains the past participle of the verb. Third sentence. He defends the criminals. Changing it into the passive voice, the sentence becomes the criminals are defended by him. Now let's take a look at the present continuous tense. To write the passive voice of the present continuous tense, we use am or is or are plus being plus the past participle form of the main verb. Now note we are still using the verb to be. 
in this case, we have to use the continuous form of B, being. Right, take a look at the first sentence. He is sending me to the office. Subject and object switch places. I am being sent to the office by him. So we have being plus the past participle of send, which is sent. I am being sent. Second example, she is running the company. The company is being run by her. Again, we have the use of being in its continuous form. We have is because company is a singular noun. And we have run as the past participle form of our main verb. Third example, he is defending the criminals. Now note in the active voice, he is. However, when we switch this to the passive voice, the criminals are, because this is a plural noun. So the sentence reads, the criminals are being defended by him. Let's move on to the past simple tense and the past continuous tense. To write the passive voice for the past simple tense, we would use the following. Was or were plus the past participle form of the main verb again. Let's take a look at some examples. I cleaned the flat. Subject, I. Object, the flat. Cleaned being our past simple verb form. Changing this into the passive voice, the flat was cleaned by me. Note we always use the past participle form of our main verbs for whichever tenses we are changing into the passive voice. In this case, the flat has a singular noun, therefore we use the form of be was. Next example, they cut the flowers. In the passive, this would read, the flowers were cut by them. Third example, she took the boxes off the table. The boxes were taken off the table by her. So again, she is a singular noun, but boxes, this is a plural noun, we need were. Last example, we exchanged letters. Letters being a plural noun, therefore letters were exchanged by us. Now the past continuous tense. To write this in the passive voice, we would use the following. Was or were plus being plus the past participle form of our main verb. Again, because this is a continuous tense, we need the ing form of the verb to be. Let's look at the first sentence. I was watering the plants. So the plants are plural noun. The plants were being watered by me. Note again, the past participle form of the main verb is used. Second sentence, he was writing the report. Changing this into the passive voice, the report was being written by him. Third example, 
you were watching the children. Changing this into the perfect voice, the children were being watched by you. Now let's move on to the present perfect and the present perfect continuous tenses. Let's begin with the present perfect tense. To write this in the perfect voice, we use the following. Has or have plus been plus the past participle of our main verb. Note that because this is a perfect tense, we use the past participle form of the verb to be, which is been. Let's look at the first example. He has completed the project. The project has been completed by him. Second example. The manager hasn't checked the file. The file hasn't been checked by the manager. Next example. She has compiled the reviews. Writing this in the passive, we get the reviews have been compiled by her. And finally, in question form, have you given the feedback becomes has the feedback been given? So there you have has or have with been and the past participle form again of our main verb. Now what about the present perfect continuous form? There isn't a direct change into passive with this text. What we do is we can use the past continuous passive form if we want to change this tense into the passive voice. Let's take a look at the first example. He has been conducting the surveys since yesterday. Now, we have a perfect and a continuous form, but nobody would say been and been in the same sentence. So instead, of a direct change into passive, we would use the past continuous form. The surveys were being conducted since yesterday. Let's take a look at the second example. The manager has been checking the files all day. Changing this into the passive voice, we can use the past continuous passive form. So we have the files were being checked all day. Finally, she has been compiling the reviews for more than half a day. Again, using the past continuous passive form, we get the reports were being compiled for more than half a day. Some notes on the passive voice. First of all, take note that with verbs that have no direct object, we cannot use the passive voice. For example, we arrived in Paris yesterday. Now, arrive has no object, so we would not change this sentence into the passive voice. Another example, the boy has fallen to the floor. Has fallen has no object. So again, we would not use the passive voice for a sentence like this. These verbs are used only in the active voice. One more note. Now, when we don't know the agent or if the agent or the person doing the action is obvious, 
or when we want to avoid stating who is responsible for the action, we may leave out the by or we might use the impertinent it. For example, in this sentence, the last patient will be seen 10 minutes before the clinic closes. It's obvious that it is the doctor who will see the patient, so we don't mention the agent and say by the doctor. Another example, in the sentence, it has been decided that the fine must be paid within two months, we use the impersonal it. We may not want to state who the person is who decided this action. Now that we have looked at some of the common verb tenses used in the passive voice, it's time for you to practice. See you next time.